This chapter is about transparency shaders, and transparency shaders are used to create textures that have transparency within them, so you can look through them. And one of the classic applications of transparency shaders is in creating textures that simulate the appearance of glass. So in this exercise, we will create a glass texture and apply it to an object in the scene. Right now we're looking at the file exercise 12 that applies to this chapter. Here we have a wireframe view and you'll see this big rectangular object here, extruded object, which is the intended object to receive our new glass texture which we are going to create. Let's uh, render this for a minute in OpenGL so you can see a little bit what that looks like. So it's this object right here. So the first task is to create a new texture. Here is our resource manager and we'll just uh, right click here in the center and go to new renderworks texture in this file in exercise 12 and the edit texture dialog box opens up. First thing we do is name the new texture and now we'll just proceed down these shaders one by one the ones that we need to create the texture we need. So the first thing we'll do is leave the first item, color, the color shader, at object attribute. And then we go down to the reflectivity shader and uh, we will select a reflectivity shader that is pre-made to correspond with the appearance of glass. There are a number of different ones. So we'll click on the drop down box here. You can see there are different reflectivity shaders available and we will select glass. Soon as we finish selecting glass, we'll hit the edit button that's right next to it. And the edit glass shader dialog box opens and it asks us to select two colors, the edge color and the center color and blurriness. So we'll just leave the edge color white and the center color will make white also. You should experiment with some of these to see what impact they have on the final texture. So after we're done with this exercise, you can go back and modify this texture and take a look and see what it's about. Now blurriness uh, is used, the blurriness percentage setting is used to make the glass blurrier or clearer. So if you're making, if you're trying to create the appearance of frosted glass, this is where you can, incre you can increase this number here and this is where you turn clear glass into frosted glass. We will leave this at zero because for this exercise we will keep it as clear glass. And then we'll go to transparency, which is the other feature of glass. One is reflectivity, the other is transparency. And again, we'll click on the drop-down box underneath the transparency designation here for the transparency shader and select once again glass. And then we click on edit and the edit glass shader dialog box opens for the transparency shader. And here we have a number of items. We'll choose some of them and we'll leave others as they are. Transmission percent is the amount of light that is allowed to go through the object. So the higher the number, the more transparent the object. And the smaller the number, the less transparent the object. So in this case, for this exercise, we will go to 99 percent transmission. The next item is index of refraction. Glass refracts light. That is to say, it bends the light rays as they go through the glass. And what that creates is a somewhat distorted image. And one can measure and identify the amount of distortion in the image and quantify it in an index. So that's the index of refraction, more or less, not very scientifically accurate. And we designate the amount of distortion that we see through the glass by putting in a number in this data box that comes after index of refraction. So the, the higher the index of refraction, the more the distortion that you see as you look through the glass. In this particular case, we'll just set it to 1.35. And we'll leave the other items in place as they are. And click OK. And that's really all we need for this glass texture. We'll click OK. And now we'll apply the glass texture to this object. So we'll go to the Object Info Palette 
can see here are the three tabs at the top. So we'll go to the Render tab. And we go down to Part and leave the selection at Overall. And then go to Texture. Click on the drop-down box underneath and select Texture. And now it shows us what textures are available in the file. If we click on it, we get a small version of the Resource Manager window. We could select one of the other textures that are already in the file, but we just created the glass texture, so we'll double click on that. And now we're done. So let's see what this looks like. We'll go to Rendering, Final Quality Render Works.